Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Faith and Hustle, your host of the Faith and Hustle show. I just want to welcome you guys to my very first commentary video from this channel. If you guys haven't checked me out or don't know who I am, uh, let me introduce myself before we drop this tea. I live in Houston. I'm a realtor. I love helping people buy, sell, rent, invest, especially my people. I flip real bricks. <laughs> Holla at me on that note if you're in Texas. I also am a professional live streamer and a broadcaster. I interview artists, entrepreneurs, um, you name it, any and everybody who has faith and hustle. So I use my platform to just promote positivity and also drop the real. But in order for me to keep this page more consistent, I figured why not go ahead and start talking about what's going on in this world. So without further ado, you guys, if you haven't heard yet, spectacular blue smith of pretty ricky got in himself some trouble in orlando but before i get into it and show you guys some receipts i'm gonna go ahead and uh show y'all my little intro i gotta split the screen real quick i haven't learned how to just plug it in there yet but this is this is it y'all Uh -oh. Good vibes and great energy through your speakers. Keep listening to it because it gets you in that vibe. You are now listening to the Faith and Hustle Show. Now, all right, y'all. So anyways, like I said, I might, I might cut that out. I don't know. I just want to get to it. Spectacular, y'all. Got himself into some shit. Hold on. Let me close out of this real quick. I'm trying to expand my page. There we go. Spectacular got himself into some shit, y'all. And um, it's been reported on a few sites. So I'm going to read two, two um, articles based on what happened not too long ago. Simply because... Let me make myself a little smaller. Can I do that? Y'all don't want to see me. Let's just get to it. Hold on. Shoot. Yeah, y'all. He got himself into some shit. And we finna figure out what happened. Y'all know Spectacular got a lot of good things going on for himself. I got a text message from him not long ago, basically promoting his business to help you. There we go, the Spectacular Academy official. But right below here, you guys, you do see that he got into um, a situation where he was arrested for hitting a Disney worker. I'm going to read the Orlando Centennial, and then we're going to go to People because it was... Uh, posted an hour ago, so they probably have a little bit more of an update, but I want to hear from the city first. Close this out. And then we're going to get into the, oh my gosh, the pop-ups are for real. So it says, Spectacular Smith, a member of the hip-hop group Pretty Ricky and social media entrepreneur was arrested at Walt Disney World Sunday for punching a cast member, according to a report by Channel 2. Smith, who's 35, was entering a line for a ride at Disney's Animal Kingdom when he pretended, no thanks, he pretended to sneeze near a cast member and said, coronavirus, oh no, really spec according to an affidavit obtained by Wesh. The cast member was asked, the cast member asked Smith to leave the line repeatedly, but he declined and punched the worker twice when he moved to block his path. Damn. Wreck assured that he was arrested by a deputy from the Orange County Sheriff's Office on a misdemeanor battery charge. He was booked in the Orange County Jail and since bonded out, Court records show Smith is scheduled for a hearing in January. That's close. All right, let's go to the last article, the next one I seen. Come on. This one's People Magazine. It was an hour ago. It says Spectacular Blue Smith arrested for allegedly assaulting Disney World worker after joking about COVID-19. So many people have died. So many people have lost their lives from this virus. I'm so shocked and I don't understand why it would be a joking matter. You know what I'm saying? I haven't personally think the Lord had anybody close to me affected by it, but I do know people who have lost people. And I know if anybody were to sneeze at me and say coronavirus, 
I would be the one punching you in the face. How are you the one saying that shit and then being the same one to punch them? I'm just tripped out about it. So it says the employee was taken to a hospital and diagnosed with a concussion. Puerto Rican spectacular Bruce Smith was arrested Monday for assaulting an employee at Walt Disney who asked him to stop joking about the COVID. Um, it goes on to say he was at the resort's Animal Kingdom theme park Monday night when he walked past the Disney World employee, pretended to sneeze, and said the C word. Of course, I done said it like twice by now, but I don't know how YouTube be working, so I'm just going to edit myself. Okay, y'all. According to people... It also says that an arrest affidavit from the Orange County Sheriff's Office was obtained. Oh, they people said they got the um, they got the affidavit. We don't have to see that later. An employee allegedly told him the joke was not funny, but he responded, "I thought it was." How? How spec? How you? How love? According to the affidavit, the employee then told him, then you'll think it's hilarious if I ask you to step out the line. Oh, that's when, look, that's when the employee, baby, the employee went ahead and pulled that, uh, you can get out of line card. You feel me? Like that was like the highest card the employee could pull besides let me get my manager. So, um, it just goes on to say he refused to leave the line. And the two argued for a few moments before the employee put his arm out and attempt to stop him from continuing the line. Okay. Authorities allege Smith then turned and punched him right on his side jaw and right temple area. Damn. He hit him with the two piece, not even the left, right. Boy had that boy out like Nate Robinson, huh? Lord. I don't know what was said during those moments that, you know, could have got him to want to fight. But I know if you put your arm out, employee, you know, where certain people are from, we didn't know what you was trying to do when you was putting your arm out. And we don't know what was said to spark him. However, the joke was not funny, Spec. Here, we finna scroll to the mugshot in a minute, y'all. Oh, he kind of grinning. He hasn't aged... It goes on to say the employee told police that he stumbled and fell, said he was in shock and thought he might have lost consciousness. He was taken to Horizon West Hospital and diagnosed with a concussion after undergoing a CT scan, the affidavit said. You know he finna sue you, Speck. So two witnesses go on to say that um, two witnesses guessed at the park who had been speaking with the employee before Smith walked by. That was worded real funny. I could read y'all really well. Told police that they had heard the exchange and two others allegedly said they saw Smith punch the employee. Smith's son reportedly told the police that his dad had accidentally struck the employee as he lost his balance. Hmm. Let me sip to this real quick, y'all. Because one, we just we just found out his son was there. I know as a parent, <clears throat> I don't want to act a fool. I know as a parent, I don't want you to get me out of character in front of my children. However, my kids know what's up, okay? And if I have to, I will. I'm not justifying anything going on, y'all. I'm just speaking on me. You know what I'm saying? I'm just speaking on me. Anyway, so his son, you know, basically said his dad lost balance. He accidentally hit him and he, oh, poor baby. I ain't never fallen and, you know, damn near hit somebody twice. That's crazy. So it goes on to say Smith was ultimately arrested on a charge of misdemeanor battery. His bond has been set at $500. An attorney for Smith could not be immediately identified by people. A representative for the Adwazar CEO did not immediately respond to people's requests for comment. If y'all didn't know, this is one of his companies, one of his successful companies. It goes on to say he's part of the Miami R&B hip hop group, Pretty Ricky, best known for early songs like Yo Body, Grind On Me. And if you was really effing with Pretty Ricky, then you knew about Hotline, you knew about They Say because of my age girl see if you really know pretty ricky um 
The singer has more recently founded the social media marketing company, Adwazar. According to his website, the company manages Facebook pages for stars, including Bow Wow, Soulja Boy. He's also founder of the Spectacular Academy, which teaches people the principles of starting and growing a business. While, while Walt Disney World reported reopened in July, the theme park has implemented several new protocols in a bid to try to protect employees and guests from the spread of COVID-19. All guests over two years old are required to wear masks. Lines for attractions have been have markings to maintain social distancing. Let me scroll back up to that picture that they posted. Ah, this must be some old stuff because it sure don't look like it. If you're gonna post about that, you need to <clears throat> update it because you gotta think us have us thinking this is a whole nother frenzy. Anyways, so the, you know they have protocol going on, social distancing, anybody. Over two needs to wear a mask. Reservations are required before entering each park, among other new rules. And as of Tuesday, more than 13.6 people have been infected with the virus. They need, I know, see, and everybody looks at people as a reliable source, but they can't even tell me, like, what, what? So I know that bond might not have been no $500. That's why I was quiet right there, because something ain't right now. If I see two things, like... You got it. We need details. Anyway, there's a lot of people that's been affected by this. It's not a funny joking matter. Um, his son was there. It's really unfortunate. He's got a lot of great things going on for himself and business wise. And, you know, we all trying to make money. We don't want to get sued and stuff. I also want to let y'all know, let's go real quick to his Instagram page because he did make um, a comment about it. on his page. So look, he's the chairman and CEO of Adwazar, founder of Spectacular Academy. It teaches you how to, you know, grow your followers in a short amount of time. And I actually do get text messages from him. Let's see, not from him, but, you know, promoting the company. So let's see if we can zoom in. It says, the more success you have as a black man, the bigger target you are. The media will put out a one-sided story even without facts because they enjoy demonizing our culture and bringing us down. It's sad. However, when you know your rights, you know that you have the right to remain silent and a right to have a lawyer present before giving a statement. With that said, there's two sides to every story. And since this story is bigger than me and the color of my skin, I'll wait till my attorney gives the green. Uh Uh-oh, let's go back. He said he's going to wait till his attorney gives uh, the green light. Thanks for your support. Love. What was the PS? Hold on, y'all. This thing. I thought you could pause it. Y'all know my character. That's what I'm saying, Speck, because honestly, this guy, you know, he hasn't been in much trouble that I've known of. He's, you know, been one of the solid minded characters or not characters, but people or artists from Pretty Ricky. Y'all know Slickum was the silly one to me, so Slickum would have been, you know, I don't know. However, you know, I think that it's more to it. I know that if you have your kids around you, you're dang sure more conscious of what you're doing. And if you would knock a bitch out in front of your kids, it's because they, they something was said. So I don't know if the employee was willing to say, oh, well. You'll think it's funny if you get out of line and, you know, who knows what else the um, employee could have said. However, you know, now is not the time and never will be the time to joke about having the coronavirus, fake sneezing. You're at a place where not only your child is there to spec, but other kids, too. So, you know, you just got to think about you may have thought it was funny, but I'm sure that would have been a very uncomfortable situation. And. That just wasn't the place for it. You know, it just wasn't the place. Anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this um, this commentary, this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Let me give you guys my email. I'm going to let you guys follow me on my other um, platforms here. You can support me by following the Faith and Hustle Show, which is this channel on YouTube. I got an Instagram and I got a Facebook the cash out for y- y'all know what it is. We're going to get in there. 
And if you are an artist, an entrepreneur, you have a brand, you're interested in being my show, want to have an interview or a sit down, then email the faith and hustle show at gmail.com and let's get that exclusive in. I really hope y'all appreciated it. And as always, y'all keep the faith and hustle.